Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this review from Flight Sim Productions. Today we are going to be taking a look at a tool that I'm sure most of you will welcome with open arms and that is the ability to once again capture those replay moments from your simulator in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The name of the tool is Flight Control Replay Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and it is by Fabio Merlo and it is available on simmarket.com. Right now, this version is in the beta version, but he does have other versions on the uh, on Sim Market that are for, for FSX boxed and Steam version and prepared version 1 through 5, and you can purchase those right now. The Microsoft Flight Simulator version, like I said, is still in beta, so... This is kind of a little sneak peek of what's to happen. I'm not going to cover every single thing in this tutorial, or rather review, but uh, I probably will be doing a tutorial one day and we'll delve into all the good stuff that this program has to offer. First thing we're going to want to do is we're not going to want to start the flight control replay program yet. That's going to be our that's going to be a little bit later. But we are going to want to start Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm going to do that. And once that loads, then I'll tell you the rest of the steps to get this baby going. Okay, so after your Flight Simulator loads up like this, you're going to click on World Map. And you're going to pick your departure, and you're going to pick your arrival. I'm just going to go with Atlanta. And I'm just going to pick out a random spot here. So that is my departure and I'm going to go to KORD and I'm going to set this up as an IFR flight high altitude gives you something more to follow and once you have that all set up just go ahead and click fly now actually before we do this I need to show you something when you play this back you need to have air traffic set to off and I believe, I'm not 100% positive on this one, but I believe you have to have the live weather off and the preset set to clear skies. I may be wrong on that one, but uh, I will find out and I will leave that in the description below the video. After you have that all set up, you're ready to fly. And to save you the sheer boredom of watching my Microsoft Flight Simulator load, we will cut away and then I will come back after this is loaded up and we'll get back into the review. Once you've gotten to this stage of your flight simulator loading up, we're just going to go ahead and click ready to fly. And that'll bring us into our cockpit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get to start the program. So we're going to go down here to where the icon is. Open that up. You know it's connected when it says Flight Control Replay Connected. And this message will disappear on its own in just a few moments. Up here we're going to go up to Options. And I'm not going to go into this in very much detail. I'm going to do that in a future video. But I am going to go over and just tell you some of these little settings that I use. I use the frames per second at 30. You can have it every one second, six times a second, every four seconds, or you can set it to automatic. I've not had very good luck with automatic, but it may be my computer, your computer, it might work perfectly. This is where you choose the default flight for your recorded flight, so when you want to play it back, you're going to open it here in that location, and I'll show you that after our flight's been uh, recorded. You can automatically export the flight to Google Earth and Maps, which is kind of cool if you want to open those uh, utilities up and check out your flight. I like doing that myself, so I leave that checked. You can record the audio during flight, and you can also play recorded audio during the play, play mode. Pardon me. You can also set your rendering through this program, too. I have not used this render program, so I'm not sure how how accurate or good it is and again that's for a future video and I have this set up for default 60 when I do use it then I'll be uh, doing that uh, video on that you also have something here for uh, show dynamic text this will put a bar on your screen that says like landing gear down flaps down uh, information like that you can set how long that will last on your screen uh, what do you got? 
I guess it's only three seconds. I'm not sure if that's going to be changed in the future, if you can adjust the duration of that or not. And down here you can assign different keys for the play forward, backward record, and so on and so forth. You can also set this up for voice recognition. And after you've made all your choices up here, you definitely want to click save and close, because if you just hit the red X up here, you're not going to save anything. So we're going to click save and close. We're going to go back to the application. And once we get into the tutorial, I'll show you the Play AI and the export. And disconnect is obvious. You click disconnect and it's going to disconnect from your sim. The load we're going to use in a little bit after we play back our recorded flight. To get this started, we're going to click the record button here and to stop our recording. We're just going to click the stop button. We can, I think we can do these functions within Microsoft Flight Simulator and I will find that out as soon as we get in there. So let's go ahead and let's record. You can tell it's recording. It says recording right here. Then we're just going to click on our desktop for the program and we're going to cheat and do a control E. And this is going to bring up everything, yeah, you know, like you would normally do, unless you were going to start this up manually, and that's I'm not going to do it in this video. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just record part of a flight, and then we'll come back in and I will show you how to load it up, and we will see how that looks in our flight control replay. Okay, so I've restarted my computer, and I've loaded up Microsoft Flight Simulator. And before we can actually load the flight control replay, there's a couple things we have to do. We have to go into our general setting. We have to go down to traffic, and there you're going to see there's some options that we're going to have to turn off for now, just for our flight control replay. Go up to aviation traffic and make sure those two items are selected to off. Go down to Airport Life and slide those sliders to the left so they're at zero. Land and Sea, I did the same thing. I slid them all over to the left so they were zero. And I went down there just to check on this. And those, those items, I didn't touch anything. And I went down to Apply and Save. Remember, if you don't do that, it's not going to save the settings that you just made. And then... We're ready for the Flight Control Replay program. Playback is rather similar to playing back any of your video programs or you're watching your DVDs or whatever, Blu-rays. What you're going to do is load what you just recorded, just like you would any other playback program. You're going to want to go up here to where it says Load. Click on that, and then you're just going to select the flight that you want to play back. You can either double click or just click open. And it is going to take it a couple moments to populate within the sim. And that has nothing to do with flight control replay, that's just the sim itself. And the cockpit should be popping up here pretty soon. And then the scenery should be populating pretty soon. Ah, there we go. And here comes the scenery. Now the neat thing about this program is you can play it from here and play it all the way through. Or you can press play twice and that will pause the game. And you can move this slider to the right, and you can adjust to where you want to either start recording your flight or start watching your flight. Now by recording flight, what I mean is if you're making a video or whatever, you can start the recording right there. I'm just going to get a little bit closer to the airport, because I really want you to see this horrendous landing that I did. I think you're going to give me a thumbs up for the landing alone. So once we get to where we want to be, now we're just going to simply press the play button and it's going to play that track that you selected for the rest of the video. Unless you obviously hit play again and pause it and change the positioning. 
So here we are, we're going into Chicago O'Hare. This is just the default that comes with Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is not FS Dream Team's KORD. Yeah, I'm not knocking theirs. Theirs is beautiful, and the price point is really good, too. Might be a future purchase, but for now, I'm pretty happy with this one. So the only thing that I could really find that uh, was a discrepancy was... Well, there's a couple things. The speed brakes were armed on one side and not armed on the other, and I didn't have the speed brakes on, so that didn't record properly. And if you look back there by the tail, that's a little bit uh, jittery. I mean, it's not horrible. Definitely not a, a deal breaker. I like it. Drum roll, please. I'm going to give this product... 8.5. I really think it's that good of a product. I think you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a lot of fun. I didn't see a lot of stuttering on it. The developer is excellent. If you have any questions or issues, he'll get back to you pronto. He's one of the better developers I've worked with. He's right up there with uh, Parallel 42 if you've ever had to ask them any questions. Both of the companies get back to you really fast, but this is his moment to shine. I strongly recommend this add-on available at Sim Market. Or I should say it will be available at Sim Market. For right now it isn't, but by the time you watch this video it may be up there. So I will try to find out if I can uh, grab a link to what he's got up there now for Flight Sim Recorder and you should be able to see something in the near future. In the meantime, enjoy this lovely landing. He sticks it. If I was a gymnast, it would have been a 10. But since I'm flying an aircraft, it's probably threw about 99% um, of the people out of the flight deck onto the runway. Until next time, appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate your time and clicking on it. If you like what you see, comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time. Keep your head in the clouds.